What's up boys, it's Shane here, and today we're playing some Battlefield 5, something I haven't played in probably like 3 or 4 months, but the Operation Underground update came out today, I believe, and I wanted to try it because I really loved Operation Locker and Operation Metro, and while this isn't like a remake of those maps, it's a callback to them, and it's actually really fun. I had a ton of fun playing this, I played it for like 3 or 4 hours, which is like the longest time like a Battlefield game has held me in a while. Um, I also wanted to rank up uh, my medic class and my assault class, so it's sort of something to work towards. Um, I did really well each game. I got nearly 50 kills every game, and then my last game, I think I got like 60, I think. Um, and it was just sort of a rotation of breakthrough and conquest. Just a ton of fun. Um, in the majority of the gameplay, I'm using the uh, Volkstorm Gravare, I believe is the name of the gun. Um, and then I use this Suomi, I believe it's called, for the medic class in a clip or two. And I use that quite a bit after I was done recording as well, just to get it all the way up to the extended mags, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, I definitely say the medic class is probably the way to go. I was using the assault class for the majority of these clips, but I probably had more success with the medic class towards the end, especially with how much nades are hitting you and that kind of stuff. Uh, being able to heal is just super fun. Um, not necessarily fun, but just super necessary. You need to be healing a lot. Um, yeah, Battlefield 5 has definitely improved since I played it last. Um, there aren't really, there weren't really many bugs that I ran into. This may just be my experience um, playing. I know some people are still complaining about it, but the last time I hopped on, there were actually a decent amount of bugs, and this time it seems to be pretty well and sorted. Um, in addition to this, no idea what that guy was doing and how he didn't kill me. Um, but I also like how you're able to take ammo off of these support players so if there's like a really bot level support player and he just is not handing out ammo to anyone you just run up to him and take ammo from him which is really nice that we had that back in battlefield hardline and i love that um this map is honestly a lot more outside than i thought it would be especially in breakthrough a few of the objectives are outside but i guess uh in rush on operation metro there were like i think the first like Probably six of the 10 NCOMs are outside, like the first two sets, the middle two sets were inside, and then the last set was outside. So I guess it's sort of accurate to that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this game. Um, I'm not sure if this gun, the Volkstrom Gravair, is the best assault rifle. I don't think it is. I was trying to rank up to get the SVG, and then I just switched over to the medic class before I could anyway. Um, but just let me know down below in the comments what the best assault rifles are right now. Uh, for those of you that do play Battlefield 5, because I'm definitely out of the loop of this game. Again, I haven't played it in three or four months, but I'm definitely looking to keep playing it at least for the next few weeks until Modern Warfare comes out. Uh, this update is pretty fun, and I definitely also want to get involved with the game when the uh, Pacific uh, update comes out. So I do sort of want to get used to it, unlock the right weapons, and, and uh, sort of specializations for them. Something else I noticed is when this game first came out, I really hated the specialization system over attachments. Um, I really just wanted us to have attachments for the weapons. It allowed for a lot more customization. Um, but with that being said, when I came back to the game, um, just being able to see exactly what each specialization does to the weapon is really nice. Um, I don't think we had that in Battlefield 4 or Hardline. Like It didn't tell you exactly um, what the effects were of each attachment, I don't think. Um, so it's really nice to get that exact information, like 15% better sprint out time, 33% um, faster ADS speed. Uh, that is something that is really useful, something that even Call of Duty could implement, because it does give you a really clear indication of what you're doing to your weapon um, when you're adding these specializations or attachments, for example. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have too much else to talk about other than the fact that I really like this update. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the rest of Battlefield 5 too much. I definitely am going to keep grinding this, at least until I unlock some new weapons. Uh, right before I got off, I did unlock the extended max for, this, for the Somi, which gives it like 50 rounds, which is super awesome. And again, if I'm butchering that name, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I really don't play this game at all. I believe I'm like ranked 15. Um, but I was doing really well. I probably had like a 4KD on the day or a 3KD on the day, uh, which was honestly surprising to me because the last time I played this, I did not do that well. Um, but these sort of meat grindy type maps like Operation Locker and uh, now Operation Underground, um, it just, it, there's always someone to shoot at. It's not like I'm running around hunting people getting shot in the back. And I really do like the flank rush that they implemented. Uh, so, oh yeah, one more thing is 
when you're inside the underground part of it, the fact that the tunnels and some of the stuff floods during the map is super cool in my opinion. Um, being able to have it, have those lanes get cut off and uncut off, and being able to swim down them and being able to hide. There's like a point, I don't think I recorded it, but I was literally hiding in the water. I'd pop up, get a kill, then dive back down to the water. <laughs> and the enemies were like, where's this guy going? They could never find me because I'd just pop up and get like one or two kills at a time. But it was super fun and it allowed for some really dynamic gameplay on the map. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. I get a pretty crazy three-piece towards the end of this, as like some of the people in these lobbies had to have been just complete bots, because I just don't know how they weren't killing me in certain situations. Um, but yeah, boys, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think of this update if you've played it. Tell me, again, what the best assault weapons are in your guys' opinion. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.